started his music. Just because, you know, these 21st century skills are great, but there's some skills that have been going on a pretty long time that I'm pretty into as well. So, um, I'm Lara, um, I am into IT and music, so I thought I'd do a bit of both. Um, one of my big passions is singing and using the voice and realising for children and adults that it doesn't have to be scary. So, I am going to ask for a bit of audience participation. I am going to ask for a lot of audience participation, <laughs> but there will be very, very little singing, okay? And I am terrible at talking too much and stuff, so could somebody just wave at me and say, shut up, Lara, because I, I could just go on forever. So uh, we're going to start off with facial morphing, because just like sport, you need to warm up before you do anything decent, and your face muscles are really important. So because you're all looking so wide awake, could you start off with your most sleepy, bored face that you can possibly do for me. Over-exaggerated, just the face, you can use the rest of it, just your face that I'm interested in. That's very impressive. I can't tell if Di's bored or she's just tweeting, but I'll <laughs> let her off either way. Okay, now she me your most wide awake, wow, I'm so pleased I'm about to be very warm up. No, not shot then. That's vital, warm up, excellent. Okay, so, asleep? Awake. Asleep? Awake. Fantastic. Okay, so now, rather than just using those two expressions, we're going to morph from one to the other. So on one, we will be asleep. On eight, or some random number of your choice, we'll be wide awake, and we'll go slowly from one to the other. So if you're better than the children, the children tend to go all of a sudden. So see if you just say, ready, all right, and I'll sleep you with one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, look at that. You see, that's a really good warm-up. You can go the other way, you can extend the numbers and stuff. Just really gets children thinking about their faces. And actually, more expressive faces are quite useful, because otherwise you get a bit fed up. Okay, um, weird food, food warm-up. I invented this by mistake, really. Um, could I have a food of somebody's choice, please? Spaghetti. Thank you, David. Could I have a colour that really doesn't go with spaghetti? Blue. Blue, could I have an adjective that would go beautifully with the blue spaghetti, as bizarre as you'd like? Furry. Thank you. <laughs> Do you know it's always mouldy at school? So then I will just say things and you repeat. Furry blue spaghetti. 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 Very 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 blue spaghetti. Etc. And that's this really good listening thing because actually you start off very simply. You've said the same words over a while, so they're not listening to that and they're just thinking. And actually, I would say the quality of listening that I've had with children from doing that is much more in depth and focused than I would normally get. So that works really well. It also, you know, I'm sure there are a few people out there who aren't the opera singer she sounded like. And it's, you don't have to be able to sing to do something like that, which is quite good to know. Um, oh, yo-yos. Um, you take a yo-yo, imaginary yo-yo. Um, you paint it a colour of your choice. Um, we'll go for yellow with purple spots, please. Are we mining? Are you all still oh. in your pockets? <laughs> <laughs> Yellow purple spots. Okay, and my yo-yo, and you're going to repeat with your yo-yo in a minute. Goes. Woo! Okay, go. Are ready? One, two, three. Woo! Goodness me. Okay, and then we have, and I would take this from the children as well, but I'll do it myself because I think I'll never get a yo-yo out of you lot. Um, this yo-yo is invisible. Difficult to paint an invisible yo-yo. And it's sparkly if you look really hard. Have you got it there, Fantasy? And this one goes, zoo, zoo, zoo. You okay? Zoo, zoo, zoo. Lovely. And all of those sort of things just get the higher resonances going in children's heads. Because they tend to sing where they speak. And we as adults, if we don't sing, we tend to sing, and then everything's very clenched. Another one, lovely for the same thing, a supermarket trolley. So, you imagine you're in the shop. I will just do this. I might make you do it, but you're looking quite soon. There you have, you're in a supermarket, holding onto your supermarket trolley. 
this wide stance, nice and tall. You see a friend over the other side of the supermarket and you want to say hello to them. Now just to remember this is practicing the same thing, those resonances. Just be warned, it's loud and it's high. And you go, yeah! It's me! And it's really good. You can get really high with that. I am going to make you do it just because you look so high. <laughs> supermarket trolleys, have we got them? Friend right on the other side of the supermarket. Are we ready after three? One, two, three. Yeah! It's me. There we go. You've all got a voice right up there. Fantastic. How am I doing? <laughs> you finished. You've run out of time, Laura. Shut up. What are you Oh. Okay. Time six minutes to go. <laughs> <laughs> um, Toboggan. Now this is a, a tongue twister. Not really the right season for it, but it's my favourite one. And actually, I originally came across it. It was meant to have pictures with it. I hardly ever do pictures. I always just pi pitch pictures, not pictures. Um, I normally just do it as a rhythm. And you start off by telling the story, which is to begin to toboggan first buy a toboggan, but don't buy too big a toboggan. Too big a toboggan is not the toboggan to buy to begin to toboggan. Yes. So, <laughs> I'll repeat the story, but this time I won't say it as a story, I'll just say the words. To begin to toboggan, first buy a toboggan, but don't buy too big a toboggan. Too big a toboggan is not the toboggan to buy to begin to toboggan. We'll break it down, me, you. <coughs> to begin to toboggan, first buy a toboggan. To begin to toboggan. Okay, let's break it down. To begin. To begin. To toboggan. To toboggan. To begin to toboggan. To begin to toboggan. First buy a toboggan. First buy a toboggan. But don't buy too big a toboggan. But don't buy too big a toboggan. Too big a toboggan is not. Let's stop there. To begin to toboggan is not. The toboggan to buy. The toboggan to buy. To begin to toboggan. To begin to toboggan. And actually, I've got year threes who are quite happy now. Going, to begin to toboggan, but buy to toboggan, but don't buy too big to toboggan. Oh, I can't do it. That's not that much fun for me. And then you can do it in two parts, and you can go, to begin to toboggan, but buy a toboggan, but don't buy too big a toboggan. To begin to toboggan, is that what you're meant to do? Go down the scale, but I like it like that. So that's good for articulation, which is also very good. Um, mm, yeah, I won't do that one. That actually says the word singing in it. Mr. Plasticine. <laughs> Mr. Plasticine, um, I got this one off the Sing Up website. For those of you who do anything primary related and haven't been on the Sing Up website, I would really strongly recommend it, even if you are not a singer. It's full of lovely stuff. Uh, it's got lots of warm ups, which I particularly like. So you have Mr. Plasticine, man. Now, if I'm doing this with the children, they do tend to join in with the noises. You haven't ever seen it before, so you might struggle with that. So if I don't hear anything, I'll know that's why. So Mr. Mr. Plasticine, man, you. This has variations on the same thing, but it's pretty much the same thing. He goes for a walk, do be do be do be do be do, and the children tend to go do be do. You never heard it. <laughs> and he gets to a lift and he presses the button, bing! He gets in the lift, he goes up in the lift, zoo! Oh, thank you! <laughs> Excellent. Presses the button to get out again, bing! Gets out of the lift, do be do be do be do be do, and then he can do whatever you want. Now, the, the first thing I ever came across with, and it's it's a little bit gruesome, but he is a plasticine man, so it works. Goes to the window, do be do be do be do be do. Looks out down 50 floors and thinks, oh, I'll jump. But <laughs> <laughs> luckily he's a plasticine man, so <laughs> slips himself up again, and then he can go for another walk. Do be do be do. Yeah, he's come across fire extinguishers, they make good noises, and you know, whatever you want. So it's just good, again, just to get the voice making lots and lots of different noises. I think I might stop there, because as I say, there's only one left on there, and it does say singing in part. Oh, come on, let's sing in part. So, you don't need to be very good at singing, and you don't need to know much about music. Just use the numbers one to five. So, basically, <laughs> you're just solo at the back there. He says I'll be all right, it doesn't involve much about music. <laughs> You'll be fine, Pete, it's not a problem. So, um, we'll do the very basic one first, which is just you go, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. We can all do that, can't we? Come on, be brave. You can do it really quietly so they can't hear you on the video. I'll do it loudly already. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. Lovely. And you do that, and you can also do one, five, one, five, one, five, one, five, one, carry on. One, two, three, four, five, five, one, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, five, one, three, two, one, one two, three, lovely. Five, and you then do one, two, three, two, one, and you just do it. And it's a lovely way 
You know, you can have a year group doing a different thing or a row doing a different thing. I've done that before. You don't need to do... And the children can anchor onto the numbers, which is quite nice. Now should I stop, Philip? I think you might this one. <laughs> Go on, one more. Yeah. This one, this one hurt, will hurt me more than you because I'm stood up. <laughs> uh, I adapted this one to, for children to do sat down. So it's parts of the body. And the thing that you actually would use this for is internalising, so hearing things in your head. So you teach it first and it's got actions. So you can do the actions, but again, it's more difficult stood up. So I will look more of a fool than you. And the camera's that way, so that's fine. <laughs> so it goes like this. Neck, neck, hips, toes, neck, neck, hips, toes, head, neck, neck, hips, knees, toes. I'll do it again and then you'll pick it up because you're all very clever and I'm pointing to the right bit so that helps. Neck, neck, hips, toes, neck, neck, hips, toes, head, neck, neck, hips, knees, toes, hips, knees, toes, head, neck, neck, hips, toes, hips, knees. Lovely. And when the children know a little bit, you then say to them, which part of the body should we just sing in our head? Who would like to choose the part of the body we'd just sing in their head? Knees. I had knee, knees and neck, knees, so we're going to go knees. We're, not going to, we're just going to point. If you don't sing knees, I'll be really impressed. You're not singing knees. Maybe put one hand on your knee, it might remind you. Okay. Off we go. Neck, neck, hips, toes. Neck, neck, hips, toes. Head, neck, neck, hips, toes. <laughs> and when you're really good, you only sing one, and that is the end. Um, I put a link on the, on the, on the, what's the word? Wiki. Um, with all of those, apart from that last one, because I wasn't going to do it because I didn't think it would be that good. So thank you very much. Thank you.